wanted in rain for a whole year. The grass turned brown and died. Trees and bushes lost their leaves. In the canyon bottom, where a lively stream usually flowed, there were just a few puddles of water left. And every day, those puddles got smaller and smaller. Living at the edge of one puddle was a frog. The frog saw his puddle get smaller with each passing day, and he knew that if it didn't rain, the puddle would soon dry up, and he would die. But the frog knew how to sing a rain song, so he sang it to see if he could bring some rain. The frog croaked. Rain! 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 But his song wasn't loud enough to reach the top of the mountain, and that is where the rain god lived. The rain god couldn't hear the frog singing, and no rain came. But, not, but far, not far from the frog's puddle was a bush, and living in the bush was a locust. The locust knew that if it didn't rain, he wouldn't live through the summer. So as he clung to the bush, the locust buzzed. But that song wasn't loud enough to reach the top of the mountain either. And when the locust saw that there were no clouds in the sky, and it wasn't going to rain, he started to cry. Frog heard someone crying, so he hopped over there. He looked up and croaked. What's the matter? What's the matter? The locust told him, If it doesn't rain, I'm going to die. When the frog heard that, he thought about how the same thing would happen to him if it didn't rain. So he started to cry. <laughs> the locust got an idea. He thought, when one person works all alone, he doesn't get much done. But when the people work together, they can do a lot of work. So the locust said, Frog, maybe we should sing together. The frog thought that was a good idea. So they added their songs together. Rain, rain, rain. Rain! The snow wasn't loud enough to go to the top of the mountain, but it was loud enough to go to the next puddle up the canyon. And living over there was another frog. On the other side of the canyon, there were even more frogs. They heard the frogs sing, and they thought they would join in and sing along with them. They all sang. Rain! 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 Nearby bushes and in the bunches of grasses still growing at the puddle's edge, there were also more locusts. They heard the song and thought they'd join in, too. Rain! Rain! Soon all the frogs and locusts were singing. Rain! 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 It was a loud song. It went clear to the top of the mountain. God heard the song. He climbed up to the center of the sky and gathered dark clouds all around him. From the distant mountains, he made the wind cool, cold wind begin to blow. Raindrops started falling. The rain fell faster and faster. It was a big storm. The canyon stream filled back up with water. The trees and bushes got new leaves. The whole land came to life again. It was all because of the frogs and the locusts worked together. That is why it is to this day that if one person's fields are dry and dying, he does not go up by himself and sing for rain. But all the people gather together. They dance with one heart and with one voice they sing. And in that way they can always bring the rain.